Holy moly, we're back with another tutorial. I'm doing this, right? So, today, it's the same day as the video I did with the colours. I'm going to do the materials now, like chrome and uh, whatnot. So, basically, you're going to want to download from the Pipeworks Discord in the past five days these two text dumps, as these will help the custom materials and bike path IDs open them both at the same time and I'm gonna go through and explain them so everything that's a material has a mesh file over it basically and these are all in your level 3 file and we're gonna access that with the UABE if you don't have the UABE download it it's in the description it's a unity uh, asset bundle extractor thing and then um, so this basically is going to help us find these and export them a dump and edit the material they use. And the path ID of the materials is here and I'm the location. So, I'm going to make my frame have raw coloured welds. Uh, and obviously I've got a, um, I've got a chuffing, I've got a like a uh, copper style frame colour, like a gold colour, so it sh should look nice on it. And I'm going to make my bars and forks chrome. So that's 54 and 70, I need to remember. And to find them, we're going to go, so that's going to be my bars mesh. So that's 3455, five. so I'm just going to put this at the bottom here so I remember them. And then that's my fox mesh, wherever fox is. Fox, 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 fox. You know what? I need my frame as well. Because that's my foot welds. So we've got that number there. Back frame. This one with bars. And we need fox now. There they are, fox. 3885. So, now we've got these values, we're going to open up a level 3, and, uh, oh, in fact, as well, get the material you want it to be, so, uh, chrome's 54, so bars, 54 forks, 54 frames, 70 for the raw coloured welds, and I'm going to go off this, as it's probably the best way to structure what you're doing when you're editing them, basically, so go to your assets bundle extractor, open up the level 3 file in your pipe directory, if you don't know how to find that, go to your steam, Go to your library, go to pipe, go to properties, go to local files and browse files and copy that file location and then we'll bang it up here and we'll go there. So pipe data, then we've got a level 3, it's going to open all this up and then what we want to find is we want to go to asset and we're going to go bars first, so 34, 55 and that's in the level 3 file ID. Look, bang, straight there, mesh renderer. It has no uh, name for some reason, uh, but that doesn't matter. We're gonna export dump and leave it as this name, please. Put it on your desktop so you know which one's which. And then it's gonna export it. There we go. So we've got this now, and in here, you wanna go down to. Do -do 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 do Mesh. Is it mesh? Yes, mesh. So, oh no, material, material. So you want to go to this thread here, PPTR, material data, blah, 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 file ID, two, and then whatever, basically. Um, this is the only path you've got to care about, is M path ID, which is material path ID. So, currently it's using uh, Glossy, I believe, and we want to use Chrome. Chrome's 54, so I'm just going to change that to a 4, and then I'm going to save this file. And then I'm going to go back to here and I'm going to import dump. So we're going to import this text dump. So that's 3455. Five, that on my bars. And that's imported now. And then we're going to go to our next thing, which is frame. I'm going to put an X here so I've done it. So frame. Go to asset. It's in level 3. And it's a 3758. Okay. And we're going to export dump. So we know that's frame because it's 3758. There we go, yep. And then we're going to go all the way down to STR and path. EST, the material there. And path, and that's 70 for the raw colored welds. Control S on that. I'm going to move it to the side so I know it's there, uh, you know. 
being used. Then we're going to import dump 3758, so that's my frame dump, and next there. Now to forks, so view, go to asset. A lot of these pipe modding is rinse and repeat, and uh, just, just learn the process, and then you're okay. So path ID is 3885. And then, oh, want to export dump. Open it up. Material, uh, MPath ID, plus 54th Chrome. Save. Oh, yeah. thank you very much. Perfect. Will be it. Ah, great. Right, yeah, so that's the tutorial. Um, M underscore path ID 54, save. Then import dump. And that was 3885. And then once we've got to save this, just OK, save changes, yes. And then we're going to go back to the pipe folder. And I want you, what I want you to do now is rename this one here to your, say, dot default version. And then. S Ah, wait, well, we're at, we were opening this file, so you're going to have to save this one as mod. And then go back to your pipe folder. See, I've got it pinned up here in my pipe data folder, that's useful. And you want to rename your normal one, your, dot, your level 3 one, to dash delete it. Want to rename it to, like, dot default. And then the mod one, just rename that to level 3. Boom. So... Now we've done all this, you can close everything, we can open this game and we can enjoy our modern materials basically. <laughs> so you're a table game DVR. Ride the pipe. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that a fair bit of snaz? So, the frame does have some stickers on it now. Uh, now it's using the raw coloured welds. Um, basically texture thing. But uh, we've got chrome forks, chrome bars. And when you use these materials, a lot of them have already got stickers on them. Uh, you can get them removed. There's a sticker ID path thing. And you can delete it. But I don't mind the stickers. I think it looks cool. So yeah. That's how you edit your bike materials. If this video helped you, please drop a like, comment, and uh, subscribe for more pipe modding tutorials. <sighs> Goodbye.